numerous states have either engaged in having litigation and legislation proposed or the government has taken actions that are targeting the LGBTQ plus community broadly. And then at least half of these bills are specifically targeting transgender people, particularly transgender youth. Now, the way that these bills are being played out is one is attempts to ban gender affirming care. That's an action that's taken in, in Florida. In Alabama, they tr they're trying to criminalize by making it a felony to provide gender affirming care to transgender youth. And the bill is called the Alabama Child Compassion and Protection Act. So, you know, the height of cynicism and hypocrisy. Or these bills are, are trying to bar the use of facilities aligned with gender identity or to bar participation in interscholastic sports aligned with gender identity. Well, well, is, I'm going to give you a defiant note. I don't know how happy it is, but I'll give you a defiant note. Fear and being scared is not a strategy. Mm -hmm. Neither is being angry a strategy. What's a strategy is having very firm resolve. And we're, you know, the community is under attack. And the other part of my biography I didn't share is that I'm a Naval Academy graduate and I was a Navy officer long before I got into healthcare. So, you know, being defiant in the face of the enemy is not something that's unfamiliar to me. Is it's going to take a lot of resolve. It's going to take a lot of resilience. It's going to take a lot of mutual support to stand firm under these attacks. Uh, and that's what we have to do. And we have to do it with a clear strategic eye. And that means banding together. It means being strategic in how we challenge uh, policy, how we advocate uh, and make persuasive arguments you're never going to change the opinion of those who are absolutely opposed to any kind of support for transgender and gender diverse people. Don't waste your time. But that's not the majority of people. And together, we are going to get back to making progress, no matter how bleak it looks now, as long as we never give in and we never surrender. So how's that for being? That's uh, a great closure. <laughs>